As newly appointed King of Atlantis, I now order that all villagers must live under the water. Aha! Much better. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today you join me and Grim here in the middle of the beautiful ocean. Check that out, look how vast that is because we are going to be taking a look at the really cool Oceania mod which adds in some really cool boats, Atlantean items, submarines and much more so it's definitely worth a look. Now, um, Traoros was around here somewhere but I'm not I'm not too sure where he went. He must have just wandered off somewhere. But anyway, it doesn't really matter what he's up to. Probably no good. So I guess it's just me and you, buddy. Just me and Grim here this time. So let's get straight to it. Now, um, the first thing you're going to come across in this mod is Atlantite. Now, look at this. It's beautiful, kind of inside sand. So I'm guessing you will find it at the bottom of the ocean. And this is what it looks like when you mine it. It's a very, very cool color. I, I like this color. Very, very cool. So um, you can get this and then you can actually smelt it. Let's have a look at that. You can smelt the ore and you will get the raw Atlantite. But then you can smelt it again and get Atlantium. So it's Atlantite and Atlantium. And and the description for this is refined atlantite much harder but much duller and um yeah i think i agree with that statement it is a much duller but um you are going to need both of these so don't automatically smelt your blue atlantium to atlantite i think no got that the wrong way around but you know what i mean don't smelt the blue one straight away into the brown one that's a little bit easier to say because you're going to need to use them together to be able to make some of the items in this mod but you just need to be aware of both of these now this mod also adds some really cool new boats so right now we've just got normal wooden boats that smash whenever it touches a lily pad or whatever but now we have got six boats in total and it actually takes away the ordinary minecraft wooden boat and replaces it so it's a little bit tougher and a little bit kind of easier to steer and stuff like that so the normal wooden boat hold shift for more information we've got a boat made of sturdy planks doubt it will last long now this mod is work in progress at the moment so nothing really has or only a limited amount of items do have crafting recipes these boats don't have them at the moment but they will do it in the future so i'm just going to showcase what they do and then um yeah yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what I was going to say there. So um, the wooden boat, let's take this one. We've also got the iron boat, so a little bit tougher. Let's have a look at the description. A boat made of iron should last a while, I would hope so. And then we've got the Atlantium boat, made purely of Atlantium, almost indestructible. So let's have a look at a couple of these. So let's have a look at the wooden boat first. Here it is. Come on, show me, show me the boat. Show me the boat. It, it's a little bit glitchy in how you put, spawn them in, but um, there we go. There is the wooden boat, the wooden boat we all know and love. Oh god, it's stuck on the edge. Just push it into the ocean. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. And here we go. Let's go. Let's go. It's very, very slow. Look how slow this is. Jesus. Oh, my God. It's way too slow. So let's try out the iron boat and see if this is any quicker. It looks very nice. Look at that. That looks amazing. It's all white and iron kind of shaped. It's beautiful. Is this quicker? It's it's a little bit quicker, I think, but not, not an amazing amount. It's a little bit easier to steer. But there you go. There's the iron boat. And what I want to show you about the durability is if I can turn around. Go on. Turn around. Turn around. As if I run it straight into that, it won't explode into its um, into its material straight away. So here we go. We're going straight for we're going straight for this. Come on. Turn all the way around. And here we go. Oh my god. Okay, it didn't break. It's not not an amazing way to show it off, but but yeah, if it does break, it will drop iron for you. So that is the iron boat, and then we have the Atlantean boat as well, which looks amazing just like this. That is a really nice color. Look at that. It almost looks wooden, but it's kind of shiny at the same time. And there is the Atlantean boat. And when you break that, it will give you the brown Atlantean. So that is pretty cool. Those are different boats, but then you can go one step further and have boats with chests. So you can get each one, the wooden, the iron, and the Atlantium, all with chests as well. And these little things say that they don't come with a Steve. Steve not included because there's a little cute little Steve on there. So the Steve is not included. The Steve is going to be you. So here is the wooden one. Um, Actually, I don't think we need to see all three of these. Let's just have a look at the Atlantium one because it's going to look the coolest. These are a little bit bigger. Look at that. They're kind of like double the length of a normal boat, as you can see over there compared to that. And they have chests inside. So when you shift and right click, you will get the inventory space which is pretty much your normal inventory space plus your hot bar so you get quite a lot of space with this and can double the amount of stuff that you can pick up now that is pretty cool you can transport a lot of stuff over an ocean and could be cool for kind of like a port or something like that a little harbor in your world and squid calm down i saw that so let's go let's go into the water and try and ride this thing let me ride it let me ride it and these are so fast oh my god look how fast i'm going jesus slow down slow down oh it's gone it's gone it's gone it's going, 
it's going it's going into that world hole and it's gone um so yeah these are very very fast let's have a quick look at if this will survive going into the wood here let's go let's go let's go really really fast they are so fast oh jesus the, oh my god i went all the way over the top Oh, I didn't mean... Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. Um, I broke it. But anyway, that those are the new boats. They are really cool. Don't have crafting recipes just yet, but they are going to be cool additions when they do. So, let's move on to some more Atlantean items, and then we'll move on to something else. And um, the first thing we're going to have a look at is the Atlantite Trident. Now, you craft this, or its description first is, Nothing can beat the sharpness of Atlantite. Now, this has plus nine attack damage, which is plus two more than a diamond sword. And this one actually does have a crafting recipe. And as I was mentioning earlier you do need the blue and the brown atlantium ore stuff um together to make this so you need four of the blue one two of the brown one to get the atlantite trident now this doesn't do anything special it does look awesome by the way look at this looks amazing beautiful and it's just kind of like a melee weapon so no special abilities at the moment but if it did have a cool ability that um is to do with water or something like fire out water balls water bombs something like that that would be really cool um moving on and then we have the atlantium helmet and the description allows the wearer to see underwater also allows the wearer to breathe slightly longer while underwater as well so that is pretty cool and this one i believe has a crafting recipe too it requires six of the brown atlantium two screws which are crafted just by putting two iron ingots together and then then um, one glass pane in the middle. So I'm going to embarrass myself and wear this bad boy. Let's have a look at what this looks like. Oh god, that looks cool. That looks cool. I look like one of them really old school scuba divers, which I'm guessing it's meant to be. And let's see what happens when we jump in water. We can see a lot better than when we have it off. So let's just take it off. There you go. Um, actually, it's, it just gives you night vision. So it'll give you night vision kind of endlessly. And it's just about to run out. So you'll see before and after. Run out, run out, run out. There we go. It's pitch black. And now if we wear the hat again, you can see it's a lot brighter. And it will allow you to um, allow you to breathe underwater for a long amount of time. Now, now, that, now that is pretty cool. So let's move on to the next item, which is going to be this. Sounds pretty cool. It's an Atlantium Depulsor. Now the description for this, this block will create a bubble of air around itself when placed in water. And this doesn't have a crafting recipe just yet. Let's have a look at how it works. So if we just plop it on the bottom of the ocean here. Actually, where's our... Where's our hat it's in here that's gonna that's gonna come in handy right now so let's go to the bottom of the ocean quickly and place this down and this actually needs ender pearls to work so if we right click it with some ender pearls there you go it's working oh my god that's beautiful it's made a pocket of air where i'm not going to drown whatsoever can i make it bigger as well with more ender pearls i think you can keep feeding ender pearls into this to make it last longer and when the particles stop going towards it those ender particles you can see around the edge um it will just cave in which is bad so keep this topped up with ender pearls and you will be okay how are you feeling squid you mad? <laughs> Just taking away the water around him. So that is a really, really cool item and one of the coolest in this mod. And that will be used for something later as well. So what is the last item in here? It's one of the coolest items. I I'm wrong. The Atlantium Dispenser isn't the best. It's this. The Submarine. And a submarine, the best in ocean exploration. This doesn't have a crafting recipe either, but it is super cool. So it doesn't really need one. So here it is. The Submarine. We're bring in the Submarine, please. Guys, Submarine. No? Oh, God, I'm in it. I'm in it. I did not mean to do that. Right. Let's get out of it and then start this again. So this is the submarine. Oh, where are you going? It looks beautiful. The modeling on this is awesome. We're going to sit in this chair and we get an amazing view. Oh, God, I do not know how to work this thing. Right. Let's start this again. <laughs> that was so bad. Let's start this again. Here is the submarine. There we go. It's in, and um, yeah, right-click to get in it, and you can see the beautiful ocean floor, and you can control it with the arrow keys. Now, I'm not sure how you go down um, under the ocean. Oh, you just look down. Beautiful. That, is, that, is, that, that makes sense, I guess. Now, you've got a good view of the ocean. It's really speedy as well. So, yeah, look at this. The submarine, guys. Oh, my God, I'm going so fast right now. How do I go up? Let's go to the surface and see where we are. Oh, God, this is going badly. I am not qualified to drive this thing. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Look how far away we are. Oh, my God. Anyway, there is one more thing to do with this mod, and it just so happens to be right down there. You might have seen it in the background as I was doing this video. And this is kind of a secret underwater village slash dungeon. So um, stay there, Grim. Guard that boat and maybe fix it a little bit. But anyway, this is the underground village. It doesn't have this pole on top. This is just so that I remember where it is. But you will see them glowing because there's glowstone inside. And they look really cool. They've got some limestone and stuff, which is a brand new stone in this mod, which 
I think only spawns in this village. It's got a nice glass dome and inside you've got villagers and a chest and one of these bad boys, an Atlantium Depulsor. So if you don't want to craft one or you can't craft one right now, but you can nick it from these poor villagers and all of the water will cave in. So how are you doing, villager? You want um, one emerald will give me three bread. That That's awful. And oh, this is where you got to. Oh, I didn't even realize. Look, you've pimped this this pad out. Look at this. You've got your golden laptop and a nice chair. You've got your painting. No, wait. That, that's a TV. That is a TV just with a screensaver on it. That is beautiful with your sandstone sofa. And, of course, we've got the fridge. So, Treoris has pimped this out. This is looking amazing. Usually, it doesn't come with all this, but you can make it what you will. You can have just a massive party under the sea. It's awesome, thanks to the Atlantium Depulsor. And in here, we've also got normal dungeon loot like iron, bread, horse armor, and name tags. So I need to go get Grim and have a party down here. And that is pretty much what this model has to offer. So if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. And also, if you have to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. And if we can get to an amazing 10,000 likes, that would be awesome. So thanks again for watching, guys. We're going to have a party down here, and I will see you all next time. Good. Bye!